Happy Independence Day, Denver. We'll tell you where to be for the 4th. Denver gets in gear for Bike to Work Day, and a sketchy area becomes a pop-up park. I'm Rebecca Jacobson. All that and more is happening in your city now. Thousands of commuters left their cars at home and used some pedal power for Bike to Work Day. But the event was about even more than biking. I'm enjoying it and the people, everyone's so friendly too. I've like waved to bikers on my way even here. So. You gotta love all the free stuff. That's the best part too. <laughs> <laughs> Dozens of bike stations around Denver offered breakfast and some fun along the way. This is the first ever Bike to Work Day station in City Park and we're really excited. We're collaborating with the Denver Zoo. Denver Zoo brought along some reptiles for the participants to enjoy. Not to be outdone, Denver Museum of Nature and Science brought an ambassador of its own. That is our mascot T-Rex and she is having a great time today being interactive with all the kids and she seems to be a highlight. The Denver Region's Bike to Work Day is the second largest event of its kind in the nation with 32,000 participants. No, I never bike to work, but maybe after today I'll do it a couple times a week. Last year, 38% of riders were motivated to bike more after participating in Bike to Work Day. Oh, just go for it. It's easy to do, it's fun, there's so many great stops to and from that you just have to do it. It's a great thing to participate in. With the holiday falling on an inconvenient Tuesday this year, mostly free celebrations of America's birthday have spread into the surrounding calendar like an abandoned popsicle on a picnic table. Spend Saturday evening in South Denver at Four Mile Historic Park for old-timey demonstrations and an excellent view of the Glendale fireworks starting around dusk. Travel farther afield on Sunday for Copper Mountain celebration with a free fog hat concert, or stick close to home with City Park Jazz featuring Pernell Steen and the Jazz Machine. On Monday, don't miss the downtown fireworks at Civic Center Park starting around 8. And on the actual holiday, start celebrating early with the Stapleton Pancake Breakfast and Parade at 9 a.m. Skip over to the Park Hill Parade. And don't miss the finale. Both Mile High Stadium and Dick's Sporting Goods Parks have post-game fireworks displays. After the ghost ship art venue in Oakland burned down, Denver took a look at the safety of its own art spaces. In December, the city shut down DIY venue Rhinoceropolis and evicted the artists living there. And the art community protested. Every cultural institution in this town came from us. And just once, just once, I want to see the city of Denver step up and fucking need us and want us and fight to keep us here. So community planning came up with a solution. Over the next two years, DIY space residents and owners can apply for a certificate of occupancy. So residents can stay in place while the building is made safer. So the proposal that's before you today, we view as a groundbreaking proposal. Certainly, uh, we've heard of nothing else across the country. We feel as though Denver's on the forefront. It's a progressive step, we on the commission feel, in the right direction. You can learn more about the plan at denvergov.org slash safe occupancy. City officials celebrated the transformation of an abandoned building into the Thriftway Pocket Park in Westwood. We're here today because the community spoke up and the community acted and the community said make it happen. This land you see today is a futsal court and a park. You will see we'll continue to own the land. It will be in a 99 year ground lease. So whatever in the future gets built as a community asset here, we're always going to preserve it because we own the ground. That's fundamental so that we don't lose the community. It was the community that said, we, we need recreation area, we need parks, we need futsal courts, we need basketball courts, and this was built by the community, literally. They came out the first day and started working on it. As a kid that grew up just down the street, I couldn't be more proud to see these kids to be able to play on a real court instead of a street. On July 7th and 8th at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts, TEDx Mile High will present their summer event, Point of Departure. The event will also feature over 25 exhibits, many of Denver's best food trucks, and interactive experiences to stimulate the mind and body during the event, all taking place in the beautiful sculpture park at the DPAC. All you need to know is online at TEDxMileHigh.com. Join us for a new edition of Your City Now every Friday. Thanks for watching.